Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 1790. This particular model is in the stone interior. Let's start off right over here on the entryway. As soon as you come in, you see you have these two doors here, some excellent storage located there. Whether you want it for you know hats and mittens if you camp in the colder weather, or maybe you use that as extra pantry space. That makes a great pantry with easy access as soon as you enter into the camper. Now this is a rear kitchen model. You can see right back here you have great countertop space, especially for being a shorter camper. Uh, in part, uh, part of that is due rather to the fact you have a two burner cooktop and then the single bowl sink, but they did give you the uh, sink top cover here. So again, you have all this is great prep space. You have some extra space back here for your coffee maker or toaster, blender, whatever. You see you have two electrical outlets, one on either side, as well as a dual USB port for in case you want to plug in your cell phone, tablet, things like that. If we take a quick look underneath, Massive storage underneath that cooktop. Take a look in there. Perfect for all of your pots and pans, uh, you know, cleaning uh, chemicals, any other goodies you want to throw in there. You have the space to do it. And then directly underneath the sink, you have three drawers here. You'll see the top one's a little shorter. The bottom two are obviously a little bit longer. You run into some plumbing issues with the top one, but hey, at least they gave you the drawer space they did and you still have plenty of room for your silverware and all your other bigger utensils like spatulas, knives, things like that. And then right over here, again, great storage there. You know, you have to have a place to put all of your uh, plates and your cups and everything else. And I'd probably stuff it right in there. Moving over to this side, we have a big slide out right here. Well, big for a small camper anyway. Uh, but in that slide out, you get the convection microwave. We have the weight of the unit on there. You can see it's under 3,000 pounds. That's really important, especially if you have a you know, like mid-size uh, to lightweight SUV. Then directly underneath that convection microwave oven is your fridge freezer combo. So this drops down, you have a nice little ice box there. This one does run off both uh, propane and electric. And then you get over a little bit further and we have a huge U dinette. Uh, again, I like this in this floor plan because this allows you to entertain. If you have some guests or family that want to stop in, you can sit around the table here, have a meal together, play a game together. And then if they want to stay the night, you can drop this table down. You can take the cushions on the back, put it on top here, and this will be a bed that's large enough for two adults to comfortably sleep in. You also see there's a window there to let in some natural light and then additional storage here up top. Also, as far as storage, you'll see right underneath, take a look at this. Both sides open up here and you have good storage, very easy access under both sides there. Just swing that door open. Now granted, this table right here in the center, this is a movable table, so if you want to, you know, totally take this out and take it outside, you can do that. Uh, you know, again, just kind of get it out of the way and just have big U-shaped seating either way you want to run with it. There's also an electrical outlet down there, so if you have to do work while you're on the road, need to plug in like a laptop or tablet, uh, you have access to that. Right across the way here is the bathroom. You'll see uh, you have some controls on here, your slide out control awning on there, some lights as well as your tank monitoring panel and the thermostat. Right beneath that is a power vent fan. That's actually the vent fan in the bathroom. I'll show you that in just a second. But before we do, I wanna talk about the doors here. I love the interior doors on the Winnebago. They're phenomenal. They're actually framed out in wood and they work the way they should. They're true, they're square. They close every single time. They don't wiggle a whole bunch. It's not gonna pop open on you. And again, it sounds silly, but when you're out there shopping, Pay attention, you'll see what I'm talking about. When we come inside here, you see the, uh, the nice wet bath, your floor is your shower pan, you have your toilet right there. Up along the back, you have some storage. If you wanna put magazines in there, you technically can because the shower curtain you'll see goes right in front of it. Uh, myself, personally, I'd probably put shampoo and soap in there, but you can use it for whatever you want. Right up top's an LED light, and again, this is the power vent fan I was talking about. You see the hand wand, it is a, uh, connected right over to this guy right here. Then you have the sink. So the hand wand there kind of doubles as your shower head and then your faucet in there as well. Uh, but you know, in a small space, it definitely works in a pinch. Coming over to the side, we'll open this up for you. Wardrobe hanging space. Again, not something you get very often in this size of a travel trailer, especially in this floor plan. Right underneath that's a multimedia center. This uh, is a CD, radio, and DVD player. It is already pre-wired to the TV, so 
If you want to watch a movie, you can just pop it in right there. This one controls the speakers both inside as well as the ones outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. Underneath that, you see three more large full extension drawers there. Gotta love the extra storage. Now if we take a look up front, right here is the bed. Uh, that box is your 20 pound propane tank. I'll show you that when we go outside. It's just the way the manufacturer ships it. But windows on both sides here allow for uh, excellent cross ventilation. You see you have the dual USB port up front in case you need to plug in a cell phone at night. And then you have the shelf going all the way along the top. Right over here is the TV. This is on a swing arm mount. So if you wanna, you can undo it right here. You can swing that out and around to watch it in the U-shaped dinette. But as I mentioned, that is hooked up to your multimedia center. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside features of the Winnie Drop 1790. Right up front here, normally you will have a 20 pound propane tank as I showed you inside. Uh, when they ship it, they don't ship it attached. We have to go ahead and assemble it yet, but uh, we just got a big shipment of Winnebago's in and this was one of them. Right behind that, you see the rails there for your battery. And then tucked right underneath, that's a spot for your sewer hose. This one doesn't have the square tubular bumper on the back, so they give you this nice convenient storage spot right here up front. Coming up the front, you also have the black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we come around to this side here, we can take a look at the pass-through. It does have a magnetic latch on there. And if you look in there, you'll see how nice and big that is. Again, especially for a smaller trailer. You'll see you have a battery disconnect right over here to this side. That way you don't have to constantly get into the battery. Just flip that switch and that will kill all power to the coach. You also saw a hose hanging out. That's for winterization purposes. It makes it a lot easier to get to things. I promise it's not just a random hose they forgot about. If we take a look underneath real quick here, uh, the frame they utilize is a huck bolt frame. Uh, the advantage of a huck bolt over a welded frame is that generally when your uh, frame starts to rust out on you, it starts to rust right at that weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, you greatly reduce the chance for the rust to start there. Also, if you do get into an accident, the huck bolt frame is a lot easier to uh, replace and repair, meaning it will cost you less money in the end. You also see they have BAL stabilizer jacks. Those take about half the turns to put up and down, and that's what you know. That's what you want. You don't want to spend all your time setting up and tear down camp. You want to get here, drop your stabilizer jacks nice and quick, and start enjoying a cocktail. Right over here is your propane quick connect. Uh, the reason I like this, I myself like to grill outside, I like to cook outside, be outside. It's one of the big reasons I go camping. Uh, so rather than having to buy the small little green bottles to hook up to a grill, you can take your grill, just plug it right into this quick connector right here, and it'll feed off the big 20 pound bottle up front. Nice large power awning on here, touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. Again, on your teardrop shapes, now granted this is a very large teardrop shaped trailer, but most of your teardrops don't have a power awning at all, if they have an awning at all. If they do, it's either a bag awning or a manual awning, so having a power awning on there is quite nice. And also you see it has an LED light strip underneath too. That light strip is actually sewn into the material itself, so it doesn't matter if the awning is you know, rolled up like it is right now or if it's fully extended. Either way, you can use those lights and it shines right down on your campsite rather than mounting it on the wall where it shoots out at your neighbor. Underneath that, you have two exterior speakers. As I mentioned, we were inside. Those are controlled by that multimedia center, and that unit is Bluetooth capable. Let's take a quick look at this sidewall here. Besides the awesome graphics, they have beautiful sidewalls on all the Winnebago towable products. The reason for that and the way they accomplish it is rather than using a Lamalux rolled on fiberglass, like most of your fiberglass, especially in this class, comes on a big roll. It's a really thin sheet that they roll out. That's not the case here. This is a T60 fiberglass. It's a big rigid sheet they use. So they actually are putting the wall up there. And then on top of that, you have the true poured gel coat exterior. That's what gives it that shine and luster. And you're not able to see any fibers in here, but you can see a reflection. I'm telling you, when you're out there shopping, go up, look at the Winnebago wall. You can look at yourself in the side. Go to another one, uh, you know, another competitor that is of this similar size, and more than likely you won't be able to do that. So excellent sidewalls. You can buff them, you can shine them. They'll last like that for the life of the coach. Right down here is a black tank flush. This is nice and convenient too. A lot of manufacturers uh, you know, are starting to put these on now purely out of convenience. 
So rather than having to take a hose, run it all the way through your RV and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank, now you can just take that hose, put it right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Take a look at the wheel there. It's aluminum alloy wheel. Not only does that look great, but it won't rust, helps prevent corrosion, and you have a nitrogen filled tire. That way it'll hold the pressure longer. If you take a look at the axle on here, this is an upgraded suspension system. It's a torsion axle. That means it's going to ride really nicely while going down the road. So, you know, chances are you'll probably be towing this with a mid size SUV, maybe a smaller pickup, and having that smoother tow is definitely something uh, that will be an advantage to you. Getting against the RV is nice and simple. One fold out step with this foldable easy grab handle right here too. That way from the first step you know, uh, in to your last step out makes it nice and simple. You have that control right there. Right back here, electrical outlet. Need to plug something in? That's where you do it. You make your way around the back. You see the window right here. Uh, that's nice. Let's some natural light back into that kitchen. The other thing I want to mention is if you notice this is one piece fiberglass from the back here all the way up and over and down the front. That's nice to have too as far as uh, from a construction standpoint because the number one place you have any kind of water issues is on the roof and the less seams, the less holes you have in the roof, the better. Now granted, yes, you still have vents and stuff up there. You're going to have some holes regardless, but they don't have seams going across. And if you look at the shape of the roof, the water naturally wants to run to the front and back and not having those seams there will help uh, reduce the chance for water penetration. If we take a look right down below, you'll see your spare tires mounted right down there. Hopefully you never have to get at it, but in the event that you need to use it, you know it is right there for you. If we come around to the off door side, you see you have a cable inlet right here, 30 amp detachable power cord. Right here is our slide. And then if we come around to the front, a couple quick things up here. You see your gravity fill for your fresh water tank, city fill here, outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And then you also have the uh, solar pre-wiring. So if you want the solar, all you have to do is buy the ZAMP uh, system, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Winnie Drop 1790. This one has the platinum exterior with the stone interior. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom. <music>